Definitely, I didn't want to believe it at first, but it, the first time I went there, I saw the layer with my own eye. Because at this time, nobody knows about the Chinxalup crater, right? Well, not the people who were supposed to know it, the scientists okay. and the people in the university. The oil company already knew it. Yeah, this is Bemex, right? Pemex, Petroleum, yeah. Mexico. Uh, they, they knew it in 75 already. Even before they the... could have uh, known it because they took the gravity measurements and the gravity measurements gives you uh, concentric rings across the meteorite impact crater. That's, that's how the signature went. And uh, according to a book I read, they said they showed their magnetic and uh, gravity anomalies to some uh, oil specialists in North America. And they said, wow, an you, oil got field. This is an, uh, you got an oil field, <laughs> potential oil field. And uh, they said, but they said it must be a meteorite crater due to the concentric rings. Oh, so they already rec recognized it as a meteorite. They recognized it, the Americans did. At least that's according to the story. I haven't mm -hmm. had any supporting story of that, I believe it. But that they were not supposed to find it. I mean, Pemex is a well-organized hier hierarchical, uh, <laughs> and they were supposed to find a volcanic source because that's what is known. Because it was already drilled at that time, they had samples of it, and they were labeled as an andesite. So, if as an andesite, what's that? Andesite is a an, uh, volcano typically for the Ring of Fire, mm. so subduction-related, uh, high, uh, highly explosive uh, volcanoes produce uh, from the Andes, all the volcanoes in the Andes, whatever they produce, it's called an andesite. And the composition of the melt inside the crater was like an andesite. Yeah. I mean, who would think about a meteorite impact crater at first? Huh? So the presence of this crater was known by some people, but when was it linked to... Well, the they, extinction. they rolled up their gravity anomalies and didn't dare to tell the bosses because they were supposed to. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But then in the, in the early 1980s, uh, serendipitously at the same time, there was a consultant, Glenn Penfield, who was doing, because they still tried to find oil in that structure, and he did other geophysical uh, work, namely the deviations of the Earth magnetic field. And he knew about the gravity contours and overlaid that with his magnetic anomalies, and they perfectly matched. You saw huge magnetic anomalies exactly in the center of the crater, which they don't know. So then they realized, okay, we have a crater there. 